Hey guys, welcome back to Atlas Garage. Today, we're working on my Honda again. All right, so a couple of things that we're gonna be working on today. I've got a transmission cooler line that I think is leaking, so I'm gonna snug that up. Um, my brakes are starting to, I'm starting to get that wear bar that's making noise. So we're gonna be tackling that. I'm gonna be showing you guys what brakes I'm using and why I'm using them and why I went the route that I did and I'll explain later. First things first, gotta get the wheels off. So some of you may have noticed in my last video on this car that these brakes are not standard. These are EBC uh, USR rotors and red stuff pads. So I went with these because I looked into getting factory pads and rotors and the price to do that was almost twice as much as going with this kit. I think I spent about $230 getting the pads and rotor kit for the front. Um, I'm still looking to do the rear. But today, all we're going to be replacing is the pads. The rotors are still good, still got the slots in them. Um, because these are slotted rotors, I can't have them turned down. No one will touch them. Um, but I can put new pads on it and still go a little bit longer. And that brings us to this. These are the new pads from EBC Brakes. There's a part number for you if you've got the same car. Right there. I'll put a link down in the description of these. In this box you get a leaflet and this covers all your Insulation, the bed in process, checking your rotor condition. You get a couple of stickers from EBC, some caliper lube, and you also get your pads nicely wrapped up. these there are two different pads you've got one like this and this is important to note they've got a break-in or bedding material on the face of them that comes off real quick once you get them on and start breaking start applying the brakes so that's there that's there intentionally so you've got one one that doesn't have a wear bar on it and then you've got one that has this wear bar on it and when the pad wears down enough it will start to rub up against the rotor letting you know hey it's time to replace these so we've got one of each of those so you've got one for each side. Never mind, I stand corrected. You've got three of these and one of those. All right, last thing in the box, you've got backing plates. These go onto the back, the back of these. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull some brake fluid out of the master cylinder. That way we've got some space for fluid to go into when we compress the brake calipers to put the new pads in. On 
one thing to make note of is these pins are not the same. The top pin has, I'm not even sure what it is, a rubber bushing or something here on the top. The bottom one does not. So you want to make sure that those are in the right spot when you go back together. So we've got our brake caliper unbolted. We'll use this time now. Help compress that some. When you're compressing your brake calipers, uh, channel locks work great. Some of you may remember from my previous video that this brake piston was leaking in this caliper. Since then, I have replaced the bellows that go around it, the piston itself, and the seal that seals around the piston. So that, that issue has been uh, dealt with. Now, I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do with these pads. We're just going to take these pads out. Like so. I'm going to leave the clips in there because I don't have any extras. But here's that backing plate that I was telling you about. And that stayed on there and that pad is well worn. So all we're going to do is we're going to replace it with the same one. Remember to lube up your slide pins before you go back together. I'm not going to use a lot because I just put new new grease on these when I replaced the uh, new caliper piston. So just going to put a very light amount on here. We're going to go over to the other side now. I'm going to check the master cylinder again, pull some more fluid out of it. Um, you want to do that before you go to the next side because you're just pushing brake fluid back into it.
got the passenger side all put back together. Um, now we're going to go inside the car and we're going to press on the brake pedal and get the pistons to come out and press firmly on both the brake pads. Um, after that we'll top off the master, uh, the master cylinder and uh, then that's all set to go. All you're going to do is you're going to press down. You'll notice the pedal goes all the way to the floor. You're just going to do that a couple of times until Oh, there it goes. Starts to starts to stop on you and get real nice and firm. Give it a couple pumps. Then we're gonna go out and check our master cylinder. Um I want to cover one other thing, why I went EBC brakes. Um, I've heard nothing bad about them, honestly. Um, Roadkill's used them. Um, I've never heard anything but good things about them. Um, that and price point, they're, they're not bad at all. Um, they're not quite as cheap as like say some of your Napa brake brake kits, but um, I ran I ran a set of Napa Napa brake rotors and pads, and uh, I warped I warped the rotors in less than ten thousand miles. So um, I needed something that would handle my driving style, and that's why I went with the slotted ones too. I. I can be a bit hard on the, the brakes at times and wanted something to dissipate that heat. Okay, the last thing we're going to cover is I've got one of these uh, trans cooler lines that's leaking and that's evidenced by the wet underbelly of the transmission. Now one of these the banjo fitting's right here. It's dry, so I'm gonna roll that one out. But this other one kind of snakes around and ends up back in here. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, hold on. Um, it's it's hard to see, but it's down in there. And, we gotta, I'm going to tighten that up and see if we can get that to stop leaking. guys we're all all done we got the brakes in we're out driving right now bedding bedding them in just a little bit EBC says in their pamphlet pamphlet to uh, drive easy uh, for the first 200 miles except for any uh, any uh, extreme or uh, what are the words that they use? Um, any necessary hard stops. They're, they're, that's the only time that you should be braking hard with your new brakes under the first 200 miles. Um, that allows the, the bedding co coating to really bed into the brakes. Uh, they put that on there to deglaze the the rotors from uh, the previous brake pads um, yeah we've got our transmission cooler line tightened up uh, put a little bit of fluid back in that uh, our master cylinders topped off um, 
So, yeah, we're all good there. Just taking a nice leisurely drive during all this, uh, all this stuff that's going on right now. It's nice to get out for a little drive. At least we're social distancing, right? Uh, kind of a weird time that we're all in right now. Well, you guys take care. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your feedback. Anyways, build your tomorrow.